Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and if you have seen the previous video, at the end we had talked about ki now that we are aware of all the reproduction process, the reproductive organs and all, adolescence, puberty, now we shall be discussing about what are the protective uh, health measures, personal hygiene measures which you can take during your adolescence such that your adolescence is not affected in a bad way because uh, I told you in the previous video that during adolescence what happens is your body requires all the nutrients in the uh, right amounts okay? in order to grow the proteins, carbs, fats etc. Because your body is at a very uh, you know sharp growing phase. So us time pe hume apni health ka kya kya khayal rakhna chahiye. This is what we will find out in the today's video. And uh, by this health, what all parameters are we covering up over here is both the physical health and the mental health. Mental health means आपके ऊपर कोई भी emotional या वैसा stress नहीं होना चाहिए आपकी body के ऊपर ना आपके mind के ऊपर it should not be there. Physically मतलब your body should get a balanced diet ताकि आपकी uh, growth it should not be affected, right? So physically your body is growing and mentally what is the effect on you, they all under, uh, you know, come under the category of uh, one's health. So in health there are two criteria, one is physical health and one is mental health. Now of course in order to keep one's body healthy, you have to tell me balance diet is very good and apart from that you need a good surrounding also, a, a good positive energy. Uh, a happy surrounding in which there is less stress and you can you know develop your thoughts in a well manner right so the person should also observe personal hygiene personal hygiene matlab aap apne personal end ke upar kya aise uh, simple activities kar sakte ho by which you can uh, keep yourself clean and neat jisme aapke you know the bacteria are away from you uh, so, what are those protective measures that we shall be studying up today? So, let us now see the very first thing that is the nutritional need of adolescent. Now, as I told you, when a person is growing up, it requires, you know, uh, proteins, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins and in the right amount. Agar zyada hoga, to problem ho sakti hai. Agar kam hoga, to deficiency ho sakti hai. For example, if you are taking fats, but if you take it in a lot of amounts, to it can lead to obesity, right? Vitamins ki agar kami ho gai, then it can lead to some of the other disease. Similarly, proteins and carbohydrates. So, it is required that a, an adolescent should have a balanced diet. And balanced diet, up already class 6 mein pad chuke ho. Balance diet kya hai, jiske andar ye sare aapke nutrients in adequate amount or you can say requisite proportion mein present hote hai. Thik hai? Now, our Indian meal that you eat, basically, usme kya major component hote hai? Ya to aap roti ke saath koi sabzi khate ho, ya dal khate ho, or you eat some uh, rice or dal or vegetable. Basically, yehi combinations aapke hote hai. Now, these components basically form a part of your balanced meal. Thik hai? Like roti, rice, iske andar kya kya nutrients hai, ye hum kaafi lower classes mein, 6, 7th mein hum already pad chuke hai. So, I'll not go into that detail again. Apart from that, since you know, uh, iron is uh, very important, especially in girls it is very important. Kyun? Kyunki during adolescence, when, uh, when this menstruation starts, there is loss of blood. Theek hai? To unki health ke upar effect na pade, isliye unke paas right amount mein iron jana chahiye because iron is responsible for building up you know blood and to iron rich food jaise ki aapke uh, spinach ho gaya jaggery ho gaya uh, ye sab aapko khane chahiye and the green leafy vegetables so that you know you get a good amount of iron also so it's all the nutrients that are there the important ones minerals vitamins ये सब कुछ आपकी डाइट में होने चाहिए, so you should be careful about what you are eating, especially in your uh, adolescent age. Now, uh, you know, uh, you might have uh, heard that is time पे if you eat a lot of junk food, junk food से मतलब something uh, you know packed materials like chips, burger, pizza and all जिसके अंदर 
फैट प्रपोर्शन बहुत ही ज़्यादा होता है यू शुड नॉट बी डिपेंडेंट अपॉन दीज फूड्स एट दिस टाइम बिकॉज क्या होता है इट विल ओनली लीड टू योर ओबेजिटी ओबेजिटी के साथ साथ जो आपके ऑयल ग्लैंड हैं सबेशियस ग्लैंड उनका सिक्रीशन बढ़ेगा उसकी वजह से क्या होगा एक्ने होगा पिम्पल होगा एंड एट्सेट्रा तो रादर यू शुड बी ईटिंग अ हेल्दी डाइट ठीक है लेस ऑफ द फैट्स नॉट लेस ऑफ द जंक फूड बट यू शुड हैव अ गुड बैलेंस डाइट जिसके अंदर यू कैन हैव फ्रूट्स यू कैन हैव ग्रेन्स और पल्स मिल्क एंड एग्स आर ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट ग्रीन लीफी वेजिटेबल्स एंड मीट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टेक अ फुल प्रोटीन डाइट ऑल्सो फाइन सो बट डू नॉट रियली डिपेंड अपॉन द जंक फूड फॉर योर मेन कोर्स राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम ईटिंग और हम क्या ध्यान रख सकते हैं दैट इज वेन वी टॉक अबाउट पर्सनल हाइजीन अपने आप को किस तरह से हाइजीनिक रखें क्या वो छोटी छोटी डे की एक्टिविटीज़ हैं जो हमें ध्यान में रखने चाहिए इन ऑर्डर टू की योर सेल्फ हाइजीनिक फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू नो एज आई टोल्ड यू देर इज़ एन इंक्रीज एक्टिविटी ऑफ द ऑयल ग्लैंड है ना ऑयल ग्लैंड एंड जो आपके स्वेट ग्लैंड होती हैं इनकी काफ़ी एक्टिविटी इंक्रीज हो जाती है तो आपकी बॉडी जो है देर इज इट इज़ प्रोड्यूसिंग लॉट ऑफ ऑयल एंड स्वेट सो इन ऑर्डर फॉर टू टैकल दिस सिचुएशन यू शुड हैव एटलीस्ट टू टाइम्स बाथ अ डे एक सुबह एक शाम आई मीन आफ्टर द वर्कआउट और वट एवर बिकॉज यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज ऑयल ग्लैंड एंड स्वेट क्या होगा एक तो आपकी बॉडी इट विल स्टार्ट प्रोड्यूसिंग अ बैड ऑर्डर ऑल्सो स्वेट और ऑयल ग्लैंड की वजह से क्या हो सकता है एज आई टोल्ड यू इट कैन लीड टू एक्ने और इट कैन लीड टू पिम्पल्स एट्सेट्रा राइट सो ऑल बॉडी पार्ट शुड बी वॉश एंड क्लीन एवरी डे एंड यू शुड हैव अ बाथ एटलीस्ट ट्वाइस अ डे एंड इफ़ यू आर डूइंग सम वर्कआउट और सम एक्सरसाइज तो उसके बाद स्पेशली यू मस्ट टेक आई मीन अ बाथ आफ्टर सम टाइम ऑफ कोर्स एकदम नहीं सो यू देर आर चांसेज दैट यू नो If you do not really keep yourself hygienic, तो उससे क्या हो सकता है There are chances of you for catching any bacterial infection. क्योंकि जब ये sweat और oil glands it will get accumulated at one person at one uh, place. तो उस जगह पर bacteria start originating up and of course that can lead to some infection like uh, जैसे घमोरिया हो जाती है and you, you get itchiness and you know rashes like that one. so uh, here's one uh, diagram in which you can see small personal hygiene habits that are shown that you should uh, you know brush at least twice a day i mean before, you know when you wake up and when you go to the bed you should wash your hair often uh, you know you should comb them properly so that you, the roots of the hair are well combed and you should wash your hands Uh, frequently, in fact, अब तो बहुत ही ज़्यादा because you know कोरोना वायरस इज स्प्रेडिंग अप सो यू शुड बी वेरी केयरफुल अबाउट योर हाइजीन वन एवर यू गो टू वॉश रूम और यू ईट और यू मे कुक द फूड यू नो एवरी सच थिंग वेर यू नो यू फील दैट येस देर इज़ अ चांस फॉर यू टू कैच जर्म्स और बैक्टीरिया सो यू शुड वॉश योर हैंड्स फ्रीकुंटली अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू शुड टेक अ शावर एज आई टोल्ड यू एटलीस्ट टू टाइम्स अ डे यू शुड हैव अ बाथ एंड ऑफकोर्स येस You should change your clothes. Now, it is usually most common that boys have a tendency of wearing the same clothes almost for two, three days in a row. Not generally all boys, but yes, it's true. So you should change your clothes daily, right? So that uh, you know the chances of catching bacterial infection and all are less. So you should wear uh, you know clean clothes every day, right? That is a thing. Also, apart from that, you should clip your nails regularly because uh, if you grow up your nails, uh, so there are chances of the dirt and germs getting trapped under your nails. So that is also a, a, a part of a personal hygiene because in all of these little activities, you are basically taking care of yourself. You are keeping yourself clean and hygienic, right? So these are some activities that you can follow up. Apart from uh, hygiene. नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट यू कैन डू इज फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज सो फिजिकल एक्सरसाइज में इट कैन बी यू नो इट कैन बी योगा जिम प्लेइंग एंड वॉकिंग इट कैन बी एनी थिंग बेसिकली इन विच योर बॉडी इज गेटिंग इन्वॉल्व इन टू सम फिजिकल एक्टिविटी सो यू शुड गो आउट एंड प्ले नाउ आई वुड नॉट रियली से गो आउट एट दिस टाइम बिकॉज इट्स बिकॉज ऑफ अगेन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पैंडमिक बट येस ऑफकोर्स यू कैन 
do yoga at home or at your terrace uh, you can have a brisk walk at home so basically you need to go uh, out in the sense ki agar bahar nahi ja rahe ho to chhat pe ja ke kar lo so that at least you get some fresh air to breathe and feel uh, healthy so all the young boys adolescents and girls you should you know keep yourself physically active lazy mat ho bano is time pe you should keep yourself much in the life go right so uh, these are some of the things that you can keep in mind apart from that there is one important thing that many of the adolescents during this age uh, what happens is they get in contact or they get aware of drugs what are drugs these are basically medical uh, ke- uh, medicines or you can say certain chemicals which gives your body a feeling of calmness and pleasure but of course you might be thinking koi cheez aapko pleasure de rahi hai to achhi hogi but no drugs is not really a good thing at all kyunki you might feel that a person is getting you know get relieved from stress but actually they are highly addictive once you get into their habit you will get highly and highly addictive to them you will not be able to survive without them aapko psychological problems hone lag jayengi disorders hone lag jayenge and coming out of that drug addiction is a very big and uh, very dangerous thing because it's not easy at all your body starts demanding for those drugs again and again and agar aapko wo nahi milta hai your body starts showing some other symptoms some diseases and problems so if at all someone offers you drugs or any medicine you should just simply say no and you should discuss it with your parents so parents और एनी पर्सन जिसके ऊपर आपको ट्रस्ट है बी इट योर पेरेंट्स हो या नियर बाय सिबलिंग हो और योर टीचर एनी वन होम यू ट्रस्ट यू कैन डिस्कस सच प्रॉब्लम्स विद देम बट ऑफ कोर्स नेवर फॉरगेट टू यू नो से नो टू दिस ड्रग्स बिकॉज बेसिकली दे विल स्पॉइल योर लाइफ इन द लॉन्गर रन राइट सो यू शुड जस्ट से नो टू दी ड्रग्स नाउ इन योर एन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस थिंग सम myths and taboos were given which i wanted to discuss because uh, you know as i told you in the previous video there are some myths that the mother is, is responsible for the sex of the child of the uh, you know but this is actually not true because when you get aware of the scientific concepts and facts then you realize these are all myths अब आपको पता है इट इज़ नॉट मदर हु इज़ रिस्पॉन्सिबल बिकॉज उसके पास तो दोनों क्रोमोजोम्स ही हैं जो हैं वो एक्स ही होते हैं दे इज ओनली वन एक्स क्रोमोजोम बट दी फादर हैज बोथ एक्स एंड वाई अब इस फादर पे डिपेंड करता है कि उसका कौन सा स्पर्म आके यू नो इससे मिल रहा है तो वो डिपेंड करेगा गर्ल होगा या फिर बॉय होगा सो अगेन दिस इज़ अ मिथ ऐसा कुछ नहीं होता then another myth is that a girl becomes pregnant if she looks at boys during menstruation this is also sheer nonsense so, you know just whenever you find any such myth just uh, even don't ask me even don't ask your friends khud apne aap se socho kya ye tumhe lag raha hai ki ha ye ho sakta hai nahi try to find the scientific reason behind it and trust me you will never find any scientific reason behind it kyunki waisa hota hi nahi hai rather you will find scientific reasons in order to disprove it theek hai also one major widely spread practice in uh, the indian houses is that ki when a girl is on her menstruation they are not allowed to work in the kitchen because they think that the girl is impure and the god may not like it for wagera wagera again this is a myth aisa kuch nahi hai there is a, uska menstruation se hona it has nothing to do with kitchen or any other work so whenever you find uh, some such myth across in your society or anything tell them teach them in a very calm and polite way do not argue with them but yes tell them tell them about the scientific facts that you have learned uh, in the reproduction chapter i'll tell them that this is wrong it should not be followed right and just one more thing apart from this that i wanted to discuss was that you might be aware that in india what is the legal age for marriage now this legal age uh, for marriage uh, you know it is usually 18 for girls and 21 for boys why is this thing so kyunki uh, you know your body although in the teens jaise 13 se aapka 19 tak jab hote ho aap 
योर बॉडी इज ड्यूरिंग द प्योबर्टी एंड अडोलेसेंस इट इज ग्रोइंग अप लेकिन उस टाइम द पर्सन यू नो द गर्ल इज नॉट एक्चुअली प्रिपेयर नीदर मेंटली नॉर फिजिकली फॉर द मदरहुड सो इन मैनी यू नो लाइक विलेजेस एंड सच रिमोट एरियाज दीज प्रैक्टिस आर स्टिल देयर दैट चाइल्ड मैरिज इज यू नो डन बट इट इज हाईली यू नो अबॉलिश बिकॉज नाउ इट्स नॉट अलाउड इट्स बीन बैंड बट स्टिल ये अभी भी कुछ कुछ जगहों पर रिमोट एरियाज पर ऐसा होता है बट अगेन सिंस यू गाइज आर अवेयर एंड वेल एजुकेटेड पर्सनस सो यू शुड ट्राई टू स्प्रेड ऑल दीज करेक्ट फैक्ट्स टू द पीपल सो दैट यू नो एवरी वन इज सेफ एंड द गर्ल्स स्पेशली जहाँ चाइल्ड मैरिज होती है do not really face adolescent pregnancy क्योंकि क्या होता है ना वो mentally प्रिपेयर है ना वो physically प्रिपेयर है तो uh, there are many health problems sometimes even the child and the girl both they die because the body is not ready uh, to give birth to the child उसमें इतनी power ही नहीं है so uh, it should be told to everyone right so you should spread good and uh, these correct information to as and many people that you can however in cities you won't really find such cases more but of course जहाँ आपको कभी कोई ऐसा केस मिलता है आपके कोई मेड का या सर्वेंट का किसी का सुनते हो तो येस डू मेक दम अवेयर दैट इज वॉट यू शुड डू एज अ मेच्योर एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबल सिटीजन दिस इज वॉट यू नीड टू डू राइट सो विद दिस वी फाइनली कम टू द एंड ऑफ द चैप्टर वी हैव अंडरस्टूड वॉट ऑल इज मेंट विद अडोलेसेंस वॉट ऑल चेंजेस डू यू ऑब्जर्व एंड लास्टली वी हैव डिस्कस सम Uh, few good habits that you need to perform during your puberty in order to keep yourself hygienic and in a good surrounding so if you have any doubt you can ask me up and of course we'll continue up with the upcoming chapters in the next video so till then uh, take care and stay safe at home so bye bye and take care